Right, see if this goes live now. Don't know what the fuck is going on with this piece of shit nowadays. But, yeah. Fucking heap of shit. Just been fucking getting my ass kicked by a load of fucking machines. Only to be fucking uh, not been streaming it. Great. Well, anyway, I'm going for a piss while I'm resuming broken streams. <laughs> All right, yeah, excellent connection this time. All right, back in a second. Yeah, fucking, uh, yeah, I've, I've just been streaming for half an hour. So basically, what happened was, I rebooted the Mac, um, set everything up, uh, went onto YouTube, we hit the go live button and said reuse settings from previous stream, which copied all the fucking title and the game title and all of that shit. Went live... And then my bitrate was going up and down like a fucking yo-yo. It was like, whoa, what's going on here? And it even sat at zero. It's like, that's odd. So I rebooted the laptop and then it came back online with it. Went to hit go live and it said, do you want to resume your existing broadcast? I went, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's perfect because obviously the machine reboots in seconds. So I went, yeah, re resume your existing broadcast and I've just been streaming for 28 fucking minutes, getting my ass kicked by fucking machines and fucking freaking out about not having enough fucking health items and blast paste only to fucking realise I wasn't actually streaming to anyone. So OBS said I was streaming and there was bit rate and all of that going out and it was stable, but yeah, it was just being stupid. Here we go then. It sounds like it fled to another chamber. Well, yeah, yeah. Not get comfortable. Great. Festus covered the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. More machines keep coming. Oh, hello. Close. I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. Heard water. Aloy, hey, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cycling module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. Or, or some luminous braiding. You could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity, I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy. My God, it's the first time she's ever been fucking positive. And we had this problem before, but now there's a an electrified floor. Fuck. Alright. Um, yeah. How do we get through an electrified fucking floor? Oh, don't you fucking drop, you stupid bitch. Oh! She's up, she's up, she's up. Fucking hell. So I'm going to climb up to there so I can hang off that to go through that. But uh, on the previous broken stream, you can't fucking... I couldn't get up there.
Fuck yeah now. Morning mate, morning. Well, afternoon here now. Oh shit. Yeah. I need to get up and over, but I need to be up there. Get up. Oh! Oh. How was that? It? Wee! <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, leave away in it through fucking force fields ain't gonna work. Alright, how do we get up, bam? Alright. See, realistically, I need to get up onto there, see? There's even fucking handy holes, but look, there's nowhere for it to climb up. There's no no latching point, nothing. But really, I need to climb onto that to uh, climb onto those flying things. But there is no way up, and I can't work it out. I, I, I'm, I'm stumped. I, I cannot f work out how to get up. She won't fucking hold on to anything. Anyway, yeah. No, nothing to see. Everything's red X. So there has to be another way, but... Oh, now I've fucking dropped her off. Whee! Look at that. Now she's going to die. Uh-oh. Yay! Electrified floor. So I've got to fucking work out how to do that, cunt. Um, problem is, everything all looks the fucking same. See, that's where I've got to be. There. Battery cylinder can be moved with pull caster. Why didn't I fucking see that before? Alright, let's try something then. I scanned that, and it didn't give me anything. It, it didn't fucking give me, like, that little fucking... Yeah, okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. Oh, thank fuck for that. I could have done this earlier. No, I got it. I got it. Fuck, hell, yeah, that was... I scanned... The thing is, I scanned that earlier and it didn't light up like that. It never fucking told me. Oh, blast paste! Blast paste! Yay! I can build bombs! <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> yeah, I scanned it with the old focus and it didn't say I could climb over. Might as well give me myself up some weapons. Oh, here we go. Now we get on the flying things. And we hold on for dear life. Fucking hell. Unless it didn't show me that um, battery holder because I needed to go do that other room first. Because I was there to begin with. So I did scan it. Oh. Oh, I've got red shit on me. Oh, 
Oh, okay, we're doing this and are we? Alright. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, here we go again. Okay, we're doing this, are we? I'll try to get your access back. Alright, bombs. Alright, fuck it now. Love those bombs of fucking quality. Oh, I can get out of the fucking corner. Shit, that was a waste of a bomb and I ain't got enough blah. Oh, what the fuck? There's so much happening on the screen at once. My poor eyes don't know where to fucking look. It's like that. I fucking missed it. There you go. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck now? Where am I being hit from? What the fuck? Where, where's it hitting me from? Where am I getting it? Oh fuck mate, there's that thing. Oh fuck. No blast paste. Oh shit. I don't even know what you're weak against. Acid, good. I've got acid bombs equipped. Jesus fuck, where am I going? What the fuck? Where am I being hit from? It's everywhere. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't know what I'm doing. Everything all looks the same. Everything's made of fucking metal. This red shit fucking flying about don't fucking help. Jesus! Oh! Oh, fucking hell. Killed the big fucker. Harvest its corpse whilst I'm there, may as well. Jesus Christ! Fuck here now, what's everything? What's going on? Reload. Don't get. Uh oh. Oh fuck, did I get that? Yes, I seem to have successfully reloaded. Fucking hell. I can't fucking aim it. There we go. Got both. Fucking shit. Come on. I wish they'd damage yourselves when they both collided into each other. That would save me a lot of effort. I can't refill my blood. Fucking health pack. Jesus, they're too fucking quick. Fuck.
Yeah, now they'll explode in a few minutes. Oh, I'm getting fucked off now. Stay fucking... Shit the fucking bed. Fucking my poor circle button's not gonna have a fucking working anymore. Oh, I can't fucking hit this shit. Oh, thank fuck, that's one of them down. Fuck off with your shit. Uh oh, I need to reload. Fucking plasma will explode in a minute, thank god. Oh, why is the plasma not doing fuck all to it? Jesus. Fuck for that. There. No now. Now you can override it. Where did it go? Jesus Christ, my brain can't process too much moving at fucking once, Jesus. Oh, I need to find health now. Fucking hell. Any more of these fucking, um... Alright, let's recreate some ammo. This gun's good, but it takes fucking ages to get working. Alright, acid bombs. Alright, we're ready. Okay. Alright, any health? Please be some health. No magic mushrooms about? Oh, no. Fuck. Come on. Ah! I see magic mushrooms. Ten. It's not gonna be enough. I need the fucking ten plus twenty-two. Ah. Ooh. Please be some stuff in there. Oh. Ah, more magic mushrooms. Beautiful. Here we go. Like machinery might kill me. Alright, um. Ah, oh, the valuables chest now, dude. There might be some berries in there, I hope. Maybe not. <gasps> berries, 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 berries. Or mushrooms, I should say. Although they climb up as medicinal berries. They're the funkiest looking fucking berries I've ever seen. the way out. Alright, here we go. Alright, prepare for more fun and games when I get this little dickhead on the fucking... Yeah, go on then. Oh no. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine was building. It must have finished it. Oh fuck oh. off. Whatever it is. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine. No, babe. Just stay where you are, okay? Got. All right. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, there's a valuable stockpile there. Oh god. Please tell me I got black. <gasps> yes! Yes! Last paste! Well, we'll go for the spikes. They might not be as powerful, but... Oh, what the fuck is that? fuck is that thing? Slaughter Spine. Oh, with a name like that. That is gonna fucking do me, innit? Weak versus Purge Water and it was Lightning, weren't it? Was it? What one was it? Frost. It's that gun. Reload it with it. Uh oh. Oh yes. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Holy fuck! Too much shit going on. Right. Good job this fucking power of armor's got a bit of valor left. a one fucking hit kill from me. Jesus! Jesus! Ah! Satan! Jesus! Anyone! Ah, oh, why is she not drinking that cunt and health potion? There we go. Ooh, 928. That's a good boost. We'll have that. No, oh, no, we're not. Well, that saved me, though. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Got him. Good job I got auto pickup on that fucking helps. Shit. Reload. Oh, I don't want to glide. I wanted to reload. Why would you glide when you're on the floor? Oh shit, I need to craft more.
Oh, what? Should do more damage with when it's all drenched because I put a coil in. Done it. It's done. <laughs> Oof, you did it. Uh, there, there should be one more note to override. Woo! Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. Woo! Fuck yeah! Did it. I fucking did it. Slaughter spine, eh? That's a fucking quality name. Oh, there we go. Supplies. I need to fucking. First thing I need to do after I get out of here is go to the nearest village and buy a fuck ton of fucking blast paste. Fuck ton of it. A metric fuck ton. See all that blast paste you got? I'm buying it. Give you whatever you fucking want. Beautiful. Beautiful. Those advanced bombs that I use, these ones, take so much blast paste to craft. Take like fucking seven. So whilst they do a fuck ton of damage, they uh, also cost a fuck ton as well. Zenith's come. I'm glad you came along. And you, Paul. We couldn't have done any of this without you. And there she is, finally admitting that she needed a little help from her friends. Skill points to use. I forgot to spend. I got like nine now. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. Shame there isn't one where you can get. I know under the trapper you can get more resources, but it's only for traps and shit. Yeah, but this bit's gonna take four and a half hours. To complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. This is what the old uh, Apple fucking Vision Pro is meant to be like, isn't it? All holographic in front of you, manipulating with your fingers. When Apple can get it into the little triangle on the side of your fucking face like they've got, and that's when I might buy one. Fucking three and a half grand. Ah, uh, I, I, last time I tried to use traps, and fucking, I had the trip caster as well, and it was against one of those thunder jaws, and I'd set fucking loads of them up, and I was trying to goad it to come after me to fucking use the, tra no, it wasn't a thunder jaw, it was against a, um, bristle back that I needed to, uh, no, a bellow back, that I needed to fucking keep whole so I could harvest a part off it. Every time I fought one of them, I kept blowing the, the part I needed up. So I thought, well, I'll go the trap away, 
and I'll use fucking traps. Laid all these, carefully laid these traps out, trip wires and shit. Goaded the cunt towards me, and he just fucking stood there and shot me with acid from fucking miles away. It's like, oh, you bastard. Oh, here they are. Well, hello, redundant copy. You cost us quite a lot of time. I fucking hate these guys. Eric, get beta. And squash that bug while you're at Get behind me. Ah, oh, poor Val's gonna get killed. Quit screwing around. Now we're having fun, right? I think it's also the character design. I fucking they just look like arseholes. Kill her. <laughs> Finally. Tilda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Tilda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Tilda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! Fuck was that? Beta. Ah, oh, poor Val's dead. I knew he was gonna fucking die. He played too much of an important part and, and he was too nice in the beginning. And it's always the nice guys that fucking die. Where am I? Ah, you're awake. You took quite a hit when Gerard attacked you. I imagine you must still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've... shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. Fucking twelve points! Woohoo! -hoo! Yeah! Fucking get the last one of this. Oh, that's going to be useful. Build up Valor faster. Oh, yeah, that could be useful. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I want that. Gives me more explosions. Me like explosions. <gasps> That's it. That's what I need. <laughs> Yay, ammo master. Where did 
until the brain I gotta destroy the world. What is this? Just a few favorites from my collection. Rescued and stored here just before I went off world. Take a look, if you like. Done so soon. I've got more important things to worry about. We both do. There is much we are trying to save. There you are. Feeling better? Not really. How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say, we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses. Accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it... It rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta, in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. I hold focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. Oh, a good guy. With power. She might give us some weapons to fight him or some shit. That'd be good. There. That's better. I wonder where the rest of my friends are. Fade them. Now. We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. 
Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now, she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh, the capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. Mm, don't know if I trust her. Uh, okay. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape... Bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. So you know all about me? What about you? What would you like to know? Well, start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian <laughs> sent me to boarding school. <sighs> Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh. So we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You're an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? More like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death. Where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. 
Ha 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 ha! It's like the World Economic Forum now. The walls were closing in. Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Farzinet's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. Man, I wouldn't want to be immortal. That'd be fucking boring. It was stultifying. A pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more. Alone yet again. But this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill... Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Farzina's original vision. A better future for humanity. You said Beta is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be. But her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta... None of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. She felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm, a safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Veda to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with them. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. 
We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Oh, hello, Russell. How's it going? Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery, once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. Hmm, okay. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? <laughs> no, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the sons of Prometheus. Yeah, it's not so bad. By tapping their focus I'm not sure if I uh, prefer Zero Dawn, though. The arming up Tanakh rebels and the secret pact with Vergala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Regala's only interested in killing Hikaru and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer. Oh yeah, I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> for I can barely scrape through normal mode. He underestimates you. <laughs> that blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. So you knew Elizabeth. What was she like? Liz was everything she was. I see in you. And more. Your ingenuity, your determination, your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest quality. You can get Forbidden West on the PS4, though, and the no, accounts it isn't that much different, to be honest with you. Tell me about Elizabeth. I mean, I'm actually playing this at 30 frames a second. The only real difference is I'm playing it in 4K 30 as opposed to the PS4, which would be 1080 30. Part of herself locked away. It was like but by all accounts, they're very similar. Unless you've played Zero Dawn on the PC, that is, and you haven't got so a PS4. Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days. Because I'm pretty sure this will be out on the PC soon anyway. To clamp down on AIs. 
Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation. But in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step. An AI driven system. And Rattling and Clank's coming out on the PC soon. Programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence. To care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. I remember what Zero Dawn looked like. like. I don't think this one looks... Well, maybe it looks a bit better, but... I don't know. I, I didn't think Zero Dawn looked particularly bad, though, to be honest with you. ...about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't. But she was very welcoming. Almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets, and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. <sighs> First Varl. Now Hikaru and Litanox. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice. Sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait. The data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible. We might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way. One where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it. What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me?
I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Again, when it's time, can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right, I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silent's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? With Elagala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Oh, sister. We'll be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Regala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you. I've got... No, it's a Valor Surge. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Ooh. Drop one of those on Regala's army and... <laughs> so go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if... You managed to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Yeah, you get it as a valor surge. So, obviously, in Zero Dawn, you uh, could get you could go get the um, power armor. Aloy, is that really you? But in this, it's a bit easier to get. It's a valor surge now. It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay. Uh, we'll wait here for you. It's good to hear your voice. Do 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 do. Young voice talk. Hey, Lloyd. I guess Hephaestus was busy making hunter killers. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes! <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. Leg it! Leg it! Leg it! Fucking leg it! Yeah, <laughs> done it. Yeah, yeah. So you know the power. Give me a second, I need to piss in a minute anyway. But, yeah, so in Zero Dawn, you used to get a power armor. If you went and, um, you had to do these, like, caves, and you got components of this power armor, because that's how I ended up fucking winning the end game, because basically you could take a pound in, the power armor would have a second life bar, and then as you took a pound in, you would then start, you know, that would go first, and then your health would drop, and then the power armor would recharge. But on here, it's the Valor Surge. So that thing you see I do every now and again where it goes all cinematic in the middle of a battle and she puts that wristband on and then suddenly my health bar goes blue. That's basically what the power armor is in this game. You don't have to collect it anymore. You have to do it through the Valor Surge. And that text was some shit about Jesus or something. Give me a second. I need a piss. Back in a minute.
All right, back again. Roller back sight. Ooh. Turn to the merchant, all right. Might have uh, tagged something cool to buy. Oh yeah, I got more uh, skill points to spend. Right now, I thought I unlocked all the survivor. Ah, oh, no, it's that Valor Surge, isn't it? I'm not that fussed about that one. Although, actually, that could be useful, you know. Because your health goes up every two seconds. Ooh. Mm-hmm. can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. <laughs> energy cells. Electromagnetic pulse against the machines. That's going to be fucking quality. Also, you'd think that'd work against their shields, wouldn't you? Fuck you, I'm coming in. Where's the merchant? Where's the merchant? Oh. Hunting goods. Hunting goods. And a workbench. Here we go. Here we go. Up here, up here, up here. No, we're not. Ah. There we go. There's the workbench. Let's see what I uh, tagged. What was it I tagged to fucking... Uh, no, it will Oh, that was it. <laughs> Ooh. Fuck it, I'm having that. Let's have a look. Oh, Christ, yeah, just the standard ones do more than fucking... Oh, yeah, that'll be some nice damage, yeah. Tremator tusks I need there. Oh Christ. <gasps> that reminds me, I need to purchase a blast paste. Since I fucking end up using that like no more. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Where's the stash? There it is. Oh, rain's really coming down. Damn it. Oh, my stash must be outside. Ooh. 
do 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 Alright, let's create some bits and bobs. I want to get myself in a good position. Shredders. There we go. Cool. Alright. Where's the campfire? Like a fast travel, because I'm a lazy bastard. Where are we? Where's the campfire? Ah, oh, there it is. Hey, I ain't fucking walk going that manly, Jesus. Oh, well, well. well. Thank God the PS5 has a fucking SSD. So, uh, that's the one best thing about this console generation. Fast travel in big open world games now doesn't take in a fucking eternity. Why are you waiting for it to bloody load? Fucking knew Val was going to die though, because he was too nice. Fucking what's what happens when you have nice guys. They all fucking die. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Gritalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Fucking right we are. Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varro's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varro tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you, too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. <laughs> Fucking dive bomber. You, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready. Meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. 
Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. <laughs> Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. Ooh. No, 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 no. Ah, that's what I want. Ooh, what the fuck? <gasps> Weave all defense plus three. Oh, that sounds pretty good. What's the current weave I've got equipped? Oh, uh, outfits. Oh, I got an empty weave slot. Hee <laughs> hee, that'll do. Oh, nice. Don't have that in there. That'll do. I don't even know what fucking coils I've got. I've got so many now. Acid and fire plus twelve percent. Burning enemy damage. <laughs> okay, that could be fucking quite good. Okay. A spike for what's in there at the moment. Go for concentration damage because I tend to use concentration when I. Critical hit chance, okay. Oh yeah, I got coils. Hmm. Okay, that'll do. Right, 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 right. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms. Right. Where's my actual stash? Where's my bedroom? I keep forgetting where everything is in this place. Uh, oh, there's the machine over my thing. Let's see if I can do any. Still not enough flour. Fucking you know, hell, one miss and an each of them. Dang it. Right. Funny bits here on the old upgrade bench. Nope. Okay, no, nope, that's okay, right. Failure to plan is planning to fail. Uh, is this not my room? No, it's not, is it? That was Valonzo's shag pad, weren't it? That's the data room. Pretty sure that's all there. Other guys' rooms. That's my room, isn't it? Nope, this ain't my room. This must be Catalo's room. Where the fuck's my bedroom where my stash is? Fuck me, everything looks the same. Dang it. Oh, look, mine's the one with a closed door. What's that? Oh, man. Vol's focus. Focus. It's Vol's. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. But Vol did. Even when he was overwhelmed. He refused to let me push him away. He was too fucking nice. And so he ended up dying. It's always the nice guys. The one that they make you like at the beginning of the game. It's like, ah, oh, he's a good dude. And then you grow to like him. And then suddenly, nope. He's fucking dead. Oh. 
Oh, I'm gonna go kick fucking Magala's ass. Oh, Angela Bassett needs her ass kicked. Oh shit, um. That's The fuck is that? Oh, look. Fucking burial ground. Put his seeds back Over in here, the earth. Anyway. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would Sorry, the wire was simply sit tangled around the microphone then. And watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but. Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy. But I tracked down the flower. Gathered its seeds. As Man, that's a happy, uplifting song. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. He's up the duff. I'm with child, Evoy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. to look after them. Oh, it was all nice until the clipping of the arm through the arrows. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. And then I'll use it on a sun ring. Get ready for an entrance with all of them. Okay, let's fucking do this shit. Hopefully, I've got some sun wing parts. If not, I'm gonna have to kick some sun wing ass, and they're fucking big bastards. <laughs> Override installed. 
Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Would normally speak to them all, but that always takes ages. I want to fucking get me some sun wings. Better head up the mountain. Do 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 do. Oh, I know where the sun wings are. I get four, a couple of them before. I don't like killing the wildlife, but you have to harvest them for fucking parts. Hey, where did it go? Wonder. What level? Oh, only 32, thank God. Holy shit, you can mount it! Yes! Get on it! Yeah. <laughs> Do a power roll. Oh. <laughs> Hilda, I'm in the air. Then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient horse titans. But first, you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. Ah! Uh, the desert that should do nice. And that's the one I couldn't climb the other way the other day. <laughs> Check this shit out! I can fly. There's a tall neck. Need to get on top of its head. Ah, oh, sweet! <laughs> it looks good from above, doesn't it? I know how to land this thing. <laughs> no wonder you can climb it. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. 
The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Awesome. Oh, and yes, he can scan the machines from up here. Come on, I'll be get, I'll be get, there we go. Fucking right she is. Should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Pretty useful, even after I deal with Regala. Man, gets around fucking quick now. I like how the fucking rebels. Fuck! Look, she's flying. Oh, we're fucked now. <laughs> Probably not geared up that well for the end game, but you know. Why can't you use all the Sunwing's guns? That would be fucking quality. Rogala's inside. Hikara will soon be dead. It's all over, Chaplin. I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. Fucking it's right, it on. is. She flies in the wings of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through. and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're on top of a machine. Well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Now you 
Oh, I do wish there was a fucking dodge mechanic on it. Fuck, she can oh, dodge a block mechanic, that's what I want. Resonator with a fucking arrow. You meant to hit it with an arrow. Oh well. Oh, she's gonna be a bitch, isn't she? Oh, you know what? I haven't used it yet, I'm fairly high explosive. This is where it ends. Yeah, it is. Come to me. Wait, she can take a pounding, can't she? I will carve my story into you. All right, I'm in. Covered her in acid, fire, explosive, plasma. <laughs> She's still not fucking dead. Here I am again. On my knees before bootlets and cowards. Go ahead. Run me through. Shut your mouth, traitor. It was you who flew in on the wings of the ten. You who challenged her by our rights, you must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. 
She was the best of my marshals. Oh no. Here's gonna give me a choice and I'm gonna kill her because she's been she's doing my nothing. Right. But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. You led a rebellion that tore a tribe apart. All for bloodlust and revenge. Maybe the only thing you deserve is to die right here. Or maybe... That fury can be directed at the real enemy. You want to ally with her? How can you even trust her? Despite all that she's done, she's never been one to break her word. And will she give it? I won't beg for my life. Decide. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about... ...will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold. In the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. Oh, no. Have I fucked up here? He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. from an interested party. Oh, fucking silence. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Oh dear, I fucked up by saving Regala. I hate it when they put decisions like this in. I feel that if I have a powerful ally, although, is she gonna stab me in the back? Go on, silence. Do you have any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you've doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Xenos. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we were up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, 
and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base, mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board, so head to my base. Impressive. I'll be there as soon as I can. So I've got a Tanek for Marshall. Oh! Low hair from melee, mounted archer. That's got quite a bit in it, eh? Mixed gear. Ooh. Melee damage up. Low health melee. Oh, that low health regen. No. Oh, no. Now I don't know. I, that low health regen was fucking useful on that. Oh. But oh, look, look all that defense. Slight hit on the uh, melee. And a big hit on the fire. But I'd gain... Oh no. Oh, I don't know now. Oh. No. I'll stick with what I've got. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. Fucking right. Alright, what we're going to do... ...is... ...our skills. I've got some skill points to use. Use the wire bow that much. Resonate build up. Hmm. I use my spike thrower quite a lot, actually, so. Oh, I hadn't got that one. That's the one fucking what's her face just used against me. Right. Alright, quest single out at level 35. This has got to be the end game, hasn't it? Right. So, let's try and get a Tremator Tusk. Let's level up this armor. Right, activate. Right. Okay. Actually, better stock up. Oh, no, I don't want to speak to her. I can hear every word now. Join JTF oh, I could never find where the fucking hunter place was in here. And so the wings of the ten found us when things were at their direst. Hey, Tuvok! Not some legend come to life, Jataka. That may be, but we will always be in your debt. 
Aloy, never doubted you knew how to make an entrance with that. Ooh, that was something else. Didn't think I'd find you here. You know, I just thought a battle that'll be sung about for generations wouldn't sound as epic if the desert commander were missing. So, the car keeps his head in the control. From Warbreaker! You're no ordinary. They are played. Nice. I love it. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I can just chill out on the fucking thing. <laughs> oh, this thing's crawling. I fucking love it. <laughs> What are you machines gonna do about it? I'm fucking flying. You can't attack me. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if I can attack from the air. Like, oh, I can't. Oh, I'd have been fucking quality. Um, not many. Got zero at the moment. So you can see that I've geared myself up for fucking combat and survivability. Fuck stealth and fuck trapping. <laughs> All right. But I can keep level. I can keep getting perk points by um, doing side missions. Where's the tremor tool? No, they're just claw striders. Oh. That might be what I am after. Did it see, say, weak? Wait a minute, I wonder if I can find one of these chorus things. Get up, up you get. Horus, Horus. Well, he's got me anyway, hasn't he? What the fuck are they? Fellow backs. Hmm. That's a big fucking beast that is, isn't it? I need to yank its tusks off. I've got an idea. I have an idea. I only want its tusks. I don't need to kill it. I just want its tusks. So. Alright, <laughs> edit coils. Oh, I've got a component tab on something else, haven't I? Alright. Knock down concentration. I don't want to remove it on. Yeah, they would have been fucking quite impressive. Um, right. Right. Oh shit, it's firing shit at me! Alright, well, I haven't equipped it, fuck. What am I going to switch out for the sharp shot? Stick it in the top for a minute.
Holy shit. Holy shit. Just need to blow a task off. All I need to do is blow your tasks off. the tasks I'm out I'm out I'm done I ain't got enough health can I mount it come on man oh come on right Let's go stock up first, and we'll take this on again. Shit, right. Um, didn't plan that one very well, did I? Stash and workbench is there. Is there. Right, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Campfire, hunter, hunting goods. That's where we want to go. So... Where's the waypoint I just placed? There we are. Don't worry, we'll be back. Those cleaving arrows didn't do fuck all, so I'm going to switch back to my... It's the Vanguard Hunter bow I had in the top, wasn't it? This is your opportunity to buy fine goods, Outlander. Yeah, I'm going to buy some fine goods. I'm going to buy all the fucking fine goods. Oh yes, making sure I got enough of that shit this time. my tour task. This is the outfit I want to wear in the final mission, mainly because it's got that low health regen on it. Oh yes, I'm fucking minted now, look. <laughs> Go. 
help you stand out. I'm fucking right, it will. <laughs> Now we're in a good position. Let's go back to the fucking tremor to meta 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 me task, whatever the fuck that's called. Let's get the hell out of here, get me sung way up, and let's go fucking blow some shit up. Get me from in here. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's get up. Oh, come on, come on, get your flight on. Here we go, here we go. I want to make sure I am upgraded before we go into this final fight. I want to do some side missions. I assume this is the final fight. It seems like it's very final. Guess who's back? Back again. Hey, Louise, back. Tell a friend. Oops, that wasn't a very good move, was it? Oh, I've pissed it off now. It's got the red skull. I ripped the component off. I said I ripped the component off. then fuck me I had full elf then Jesus one fucking shot kill that was Jesus fuck oh, at least I got all my shit back holy shit man Fuck! Right, inventory, inventory. I should have enough blast paste, haven't I? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's try that again, because I had that down to fucking next to nothing as well. Mm. 
Alright. Alright, one minute. All right, back in a second. All right, back again. All right, here we go. Oh, I don't want to quit. I want to get the sun wing to come and get me. I can't believe that. Oh, it picked me up straight away. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Go on up, get some altitude, bird. Why are we not flying? We're going this way, are we? So just over this mountain, and then we're there. <coughs> we upgraded this bloody armor. Better be worth it. Why are you not getting your altitude? There we go. Frost ammo could help here. No, you can't because you, you end up dropping. I did. I attacked it from the air before and I dropped and hurt myself. Oh, it's pissed off now. Finish it off quickly with like maybe I'll do it with this armor absorbing a lot of the damage. Dead. 
And it didn't give me the Tremator task. You are fucking kidding me. Alright, uh, here we go. Right. Quests. Yeah. Uh, two. Jesus. I need tear damage as well. Yeah, after all of that, it didn't give me the fucking task. Alright. I need to use tear ammo. Should be able to find some uh, 1400 away. Alright, here we go. Good job I got a fucking big old bird to fly around on now. I don't want to speak to the groundskeeper. Bloody hell, it's changed the bloody quest because I flew past it. Bloody thing. Right, it's sending me back to the one I just did. sending me back although she'll go there's nothing there and we'll have to go to the next site Have one though, look. <laughs> Let's do it again. This one's not freezing as quickly as the other one did. Is the one shot kill move from it? There's a task. Oh, 
Flash paste is out. I'm sure. Didn't we see it? We saw a tusk fall off. We saw it fall off when I chucked the disc at it. Where is it? Oh, don't tell me it's not going to give me it. Didn't find what I needed. Oh. You're bloody kidding me! The tusk fell off. I know the tusk fell off. It fell off around here. Certainly not up this mountain, but it definitely fell off. I blew a big chunk of it off. It's fucking stiffed me out of it. It's done me. Out of the fucking tusk. It fell off. Right, I know what I can do. I have another weapon that might be useful. I can replace that one temporarily. And then... Um, we just check the coil in it. Okay, so a t component there. Uh, Alright. Put the component tear in that one then. And what was component tearing on before? I put it in the other one, didn't I? Yeah, that's right. Right. Let's go for some more of these bloody elephants then. Via the, the shop to buy more blast paste. Damn it. That, I'm sure, I'm almost certain a fucking tusk fell off. I smacked it and a fucking tusk fell off. Where's the base? There. I've gone too far south of it. I have, haven't I? No, I haven't there. Bloody hell, I can't believe. Can't believe that. I blew its fucking tusk right off its face. Oh, mate. Well, I just blew one of the tusks off that elephant's face. I killed it again the second time. Uh, and I saw a tusk fall off, and then it didn't give me it. I went back to look for it. It's like, nope, no tusk. I was like, what? I shot one of those explosive discs right at his face, and he just saw parts of it fall off. So the only thing I could think of is I absolutely destroyed it. Now I've got to waste all my money on blast paste again. Well, I've actually got a component tear disc now. Oh, where's my... Oh, let's restock the ammo. Yeah, it does. It uses less blast paste if I do it here. I 
can't believe that. It fucking stiffed me. Alright. Let's go back and fucking murder an elephant then. That's still sending me back to that one, so hopefully he'll respawn like he did last time. I flew out of that area, flew over something that triggered a, um, a mission change, and then um, reactivated the mission for the Tremator Tusk, and I, it then sent me back to where I just killed it as well. But then um, it's still... It, there was another one there. But the funny thing is, she flew in and went, what's, what's caused all this debris? It's like, wait a minute, you caused all that debris, woman. You're the one who blew everything up. You can't remember you did it. Oh, I need one of them antlers for them as well. Oh, it's night time as well. Oh, here we go. So, let's try this again. There's another one there. Can't get lined up to take the fucking shot. There you go. Tear it off.
Got one. I got one. Do you see it? One time I actually pick up the part I fucking need, I die. It's not going to make it easy for me to max out this fucking ammo armor, is it? All right, have I got all the bits I need? All right. I don't think it's giving me it, has it? No. Got bristleback tusks. Loads of them. Alright, let's do this again. Luckily, it's not too far away. Man, I can't believe that. Alright. Let's change the weapons to. Do I like my big bird just chills out around? That was one of those one shot kills, though, that was. Alright, let's try it again. Do it, am I now?
one hit. I can't do it. I can't get these fucking Tremitor tusks and you can't buy them either. <sighs> Thing is, I don't want to go into this bloody end game not bloody prepared. Because it'd be one of those where you can't fucking go back once you started it. This is the end game. It's going to take you hours to do and you need to be completely prepared before you start it. That's what's going to happen. But I clearly can't... Those weapons I've got are just not doing anything. There has to be a better way of slicing bits off a fucking enemy. Um... Got that in my top. Mm. Right. Alright, let's have a look, see what else we can go and fight first then. Because I've done so many of these elephants, I've killed a few of them. That's just a level 2 upgrade, isn't it? For the one I already had. Uh, where's me? Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Hmm. That's going to have to be that one, isn't it? I hope exploding it off again might work. I don't know how I did it before. Gone the wrong way if I've seen them. Doesn't look like plasma would do much damage. Hey, strong versus purge water. Oh, he's an apex one. No wonder I'm struggling. I wonder if there's some non-Apex ones about. Oh! 
Ah, I'm screwed. Fuck me! Getting fucked off now. I killed three of these. Was it two, three I killed? Quite easily. Because I'm desperately trying to fucking carefully prize its cunting bits off it. I can't fucking do it. No. No. Alright, one second. I need to piss. Right, back again. Right, let's see if there's a non-Apex version to go for. Oh, where's the map? Filter. Oh, no, it's not going to tell me. Machine sites, that's what I want. Clemental task is there. Clamber Tusk, so. Clamber Jaw. Uh, there's got to be another. Clamber Tusk. Has to be. You can't just have an Apex one. There has to be. There has to be an easier one. One that might be a bit more fucking. No, there isn't. No. No. Fuck. That's the only one. Try my fucking tusk. Bastard things. Wide more charged. Right. Can I upgrade that? I don't think I can, can I? Now this time I rebels. No. That's the cleaving sharp shot bow. Need to work out how to fucking do it.
detained by tear damage. Yeah, look. Tear. Yeah. Have I got anything with tear on it? 157 tear. 281 with a cleaving. Fire. That's just impact. Um, I still bolt blaster. Okay. Actually, that could be doing being upgraded, to be honest with you as well. Actually, I could. What was that? I am. No. Oh, I need to go back to the desk, the workbench, and fucking create a job on this. I wonder if it can pick me up out It does! How cool is that? Picks me up out of mid air! Oh, clamber jaws are those monkey fuckers, aren't they? Oh no! Is this where those fucking stealth things are as well? Oh, it's a tall neck. Oh, the game started then. I wonder if the PlayStation's over here and it shouldn't be. I've got a fucking knock to a fan in the cupboard. But it's in. This will be over quick with frost ammo. Him some moves down there. I want my ah. Oh. That's the apex, isn't it?
Ah. Oh, I let go of it wrong. Oh, now people are fucking texting me. Oh, let's go for schools. I don't know, the little one's got homework. Jeez, what's he fucking dangerous against? Right, weak versus lightning. Jesus, I am really fucking struggling now. Oh, did I hit it? Oh, I did. Strength from fucking numbers, eh? Destroy that. Now fucking what? Oh god. Where's my phone? The wife's texting me. I can upgrade the spike thrower. That wasn't what I needed. Oh, what the hell now?
Jesus. If I'm gonna find the parts I need, I should check all the machine carcasses here. Typically, after all that death and carnage and ammunition being wasted, I've not got the parts I require. I need here. Better try another location. Hmm. It's fucking annoying. Hmm. Oh, stream's dead. Stream died then. Another drone keeping watch on the biosphere. I should grab its data. What? Oh, that's not even the spike throw I'm using. So I've got a better one, haven't I? Or have I? I know it is the one I'm using. The stream didn't kick you. Oh, that's alright then. The stream went down to fucking zero on the output for some strange reason. Alright, uh. Alright, uh, it's advanced time. God damn it, I'm not very good at getting the pieces I require, am I? Oh, afternoon it is then. Uh, I fucking love that. That is awesome. Oh, is that going to send me back to those clamber jaws? No, I don't want those ones. There'll be another set around here somewhere. I'm sure there was. Or maybe not. It had found somewhere else. Hmm. I don't really fancy taking on all them again. Because I am really not having a good run of it now. It needs me to retrieve parts, but I ain't gonna be, I'm not very good at retrieving the parts. I'm good at destroying them. It won't make much of a dent. 
I seem to be getting all fucking Apex ones as well. Why am to the fucking normal machines? They all seem to be fucking hardcore Apex bastards. Weak versus purge water. Component removed. That's him dead. That's him waste of everything. Oh, component removed. Or what was removed?
Jesus. I'm also betting I got none of the parts that I would call. I blew some components off some of them. But clearly not. Lovely. What is with this game? Why does it fucking not allow me to get the fucking bits I require? I even blew some components off. I don't think I'm ever going to upgrade my gear, am I? I think I'm just going to have to accept that I'm going to go into the fucking final battle fucking pretty under-equipped, aren't I? Because I can't fucking get the components off these things for love nor money. Eh? Don't get me wrong, I can kill them, I can blow them up, I can fucking do all that kind of shit to them. Oh, cat, come on, get away from the front of the TV. No, it's just sending me back. What's this?
do. I want to change my bow. Kind of rebel camp, not very well guarded. And again, by the look of this place, there's not much to protect anyway. Uh, you should have fucking pop in then. There's a campfire around here somewhere. Where's a good fucking place for weapons, maybe? Oh, wait a minute, yeah. I think I'll uh, reload everything and then fucking call it done on this one.
of metal shards. Lovely. Alright. Jesus, I'm pressing circle near a fire. Oh god, there's loads down here, isn't there? Um Where are we? Right ah, Champion. Won't you sit for a moment? You know what? Fast travel back. I'm level 37. I've got a comfortable amount of weapons. I should be okay. I need to acquire some more fucking metal shards, but... Mr. Know-it-all is here. You know, you're focused, buddy, who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence, looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. 
I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. I know I get it. Your other guest is here. She's um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design and output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Shit. Right. There's my stash. There it is. That's not mine, is it? Oh, for fuck's sake, I can't remember which one of these rooms is which. Hmm. Is that my room? That is, isn't it?
Uh, I think my dinner's gonna be ready soon, so I better call this one done. Oh, she got a quest for me. You... you flew? Kotala told me. And took out Regala's machines? <laughs> you know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll uh, ready talk to them all later. And like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. I appreciate it. Alright, on that note, I'm going to call this stream done for now. I may get on later, I don't know, but uh, thanks to Chairman for watching, and uh, Russell80, and uh, Scars. I will uh, catch you all next time. Bye.